Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about some POE basic inputs programming. Just how do I use all these inputs anyways? Okay, what we're going to be talking about here today is the bump switch. What I want to get into here is one of the things that we need to do is I'm going to open a sample program. I'm going to go down here to PLTW. So some of this I know doesn't really need to be on here. Some of this you guys have seen for the first time again. First time again doesn't really make sense. Motors and sensors setup. Well, now that you know, all know how to do this, I'm going to show you something here. If you go over here to standard models and select POE and SIM testbed and hit apply, it automatically does all of that for you. All right. We didn't show you that to start off with because I wanted you to know how to do it. But now it automatically puts everything in here for you. I didn't have to do that. Every time I can just simply go again, go to standard models and click on POE and SIM test bid, hit apply, OK, and it's ready to go. Again, make sure that when you go to robot that your platform type is VEX 2.0 Cortex and you have natural language set up. My debugger, a lot of us keep saying, well, my debuggers won't pop up. Well, that's because you haven't tried to compile anything. That won't happen until you come through here. Um, say so right now it's saying I can't compile because the template is only a um, read only I haven't saved it yet so I'm gonna go up here to file and I'm gonna go to save as and I'm gonna go to where I save my stuff And this right here would be 313. All right, so I'm saving this here as 313. It's my activity 313 um, compile program. And I would be able to, uh, oh, sure, shoot, I did the wrong thing. Okay, I'm back now with my test bed. I can come up here to compile and download program. And once it's done this, now I can go up here and open up my debugger windows. Notice I've already got motors and sensors, and here they are. And you guys have done some playing with this already. Uh, with this, um, when I hit these buttons, you can hear the motor running in the background and whatnot. So, there I stopped it. So let's talk about today, what they want us to do. 313. Uh, we're going to be working first with the bump switch. So notice here, here's how we get started with the bump switch. Here's how we make the bump switch do what it's supposed to do. Until bump, bump switch. And then this is a command, so it's going to finish with a semicolon. So I would go down here to my task main, and I'm going to, I'm going to go out of this, there we go. And I'm going to scroll over, I'm going to say until bump, bump switch semicolon now I'm just double checking here you're gonna see me doing this quite a bit All right, until bump switch there we go semicolon now what do I want to have happen when we hit that I want it to start the motor so start motor which motor All right, I'm gonna tell it that uh, we're gonna say left motor I'm gonna say full power and I want to finish the semicolon. Now let's just double check. I don't know here. They want the right motor and they want it half power. All right. So I'm going to go back here. There's that. There's my right motor. It's going to start that motor. Well, it's going to wait for five seconds. Then we're going to say stop the right motor. And I got to tell it which motor to stop. These are all commands. So before I do anything, I'm noticing up here above weight, I didn't have my colon. You're going to forget stuff like that. That's all right. I'm just going to bring this up here so it cleans it up a little bit. 
compile and download the program it tells me there's no problems here so right now you can see that it's not doing anything when I hit that bump though okay right now we're having a little bit of a problem I've hit my bump switch and it's not doing anything Okay, what you guys haven't been able to see is I had to do some decoding here and uh, find out what was wrong. Well, I want you to look right here. It says quadrature encoder. Notice that when I hit this, that's what's changing, all right? This quad thing is what's changing. So what's happened is the person, the test bed that I'm using isn't set up right. So it's looking for the bump switch to change. And the reason this is never happening is because the bump switch is never changing. If I were to put a one in there, uh, see it. The problem is that the bump switch isn't changing. So what I want you guys to learn from this is there's a reason. You got to go back and, and what I did is I started proofreading and checking to see what was going on here with the test bed. What you're going to see me do now here at this point is I'm going to go up here to motors and sensor setup because I'm and this person doesn't have it set up right so I'm going to go to their digital signals. I'm going to make sure that the bump switch is in the right spot, the quad encoder is in the right spot, and the digital by checking here. I'll come back here in a second. Okay, I went through here and recompiled this, and as I hit my bump switch here, notice that. Oh, I got to start it again, sorry. Now that I go down here, you notice as soon as it goes to one, it starts the motor. It should run for about five seconds, and you heard it just turn off. Okay, this is going to be the last thing I show you here. Our instructions say that I'm going to now, they want me to change this. All right. Um, how do we get both motors to turn on at half speed? Well, the only adjustments I'd have to make here is now instead of saying just start that motor, I'm going to tell it to start both motors. It doesn't matter that one's on one's first and one's second. Um, what happens here is that all that matters, the computer reads these two lines simultaneously. All right? This is what's going to happen after this is bumped. All right? So both of those motors will start simultaneously there. When the bump is, when it's hit, when both motors should then move, uh, when it's bumped again, then both motors should move in the opposite direction for three and a half seconds. So until bump, bump switch. colon. What do I want to have happen? I want it to start these motors in the opposite direction. So I'm going to say negative 67 colon. Start motor, left motor, negative 67. And this time they've said 3.5 seconds. So let's change it 3.5. And then it should stop the motors. Now, what they're going to ask you to do here, they said both motors will stop. Um, I need to check here. I've told it to stop the right motor. Stop motor. Now, I'm also going to tell it to stop the left motor as well. So, a robot, compile and download program. I'm telling the, I'm trying to get the computer to read it right now. Um... Notice that all of my sensors here automatically open up. I'm going to hit start. I'm going to try to make this switch very quickly here. But notice when I hit the bump switch, you can't see it, but both of them are running. All right. And it only ran them first, but now when I hit this, so we have a slight problem here with my program. It's doing what I told it to do, but it didn't keep going. So I'd have to go back here and retry this again. That time worked a whole lot better. Hit the bump, and now the motors are going.
Okay, what I want to show you guys is uh, up until now, my program wasn't working right. And there's a simple little adjustment made. It's, uh, remember I told you how touchy things were? Is this little space in here, all right, which is, wasn't supposed to be there that I had included, was for some reason making the program skip this whole section here. It was going straight from the until bump, and it was running for three and a half seconds, and then it stopped. As soon as I came in here and got rid of that space, and that took me a while to find, all right, it then would run it until I hit this bump, and then it would go backwards for three and a half seconds and stop. So this is very sensitive. So a couple things we learned today about troubleshooting. Not a whole lot of writing, but just going over a few things. Well, I hope today was helpful. I'll catch you.